I conserved an awful lot of cardboard there. Had I cut that dead center, I probably wouldn't have been able to come back and cut the other piece. Now I can simply lay this piece here and cut it there. I'm going to trace this piece and cut it out. I'm now going to cut another one of these with that pattern. Here's the problem you typically encounter when you're trying to cut very shallow angles across the grain. It tends to wander and make really sloppy cuts. I've got all my pieces cut and now you can finally see the outline of this year's boat. Just like so, and you can see that it overlaps the outer pieces by six inches. So there'll be a lot of glue right in there. The cockpit piece will go here. Now I'm just using a quick stipple pattern to join this outer keel skin to my other uh, outer cockpit skin. Now I'm just going to bring these two skins down here and make sure everything lines up perfectly. Now I'll just weigh it down while it dries. Okay, I've got everything glued down. I'm going to go ahead now and take my weights off uh, and start building up the cockpit section. Now I'm cutting out my cockpit bulkhead pieces. These bulkheads uh, need to run perpendicular to the long axis of the boat because the force here that we're trying to resist is the inward and outward pressure of myself and the water. Now that I've got this one, I just need four, uh, four totals. I need to make three more. You can see here I've got my cockpit bulkheads cut. Some of them have a natural bow to them because the cardboard, uh, of course, wasn't perfectly flat. So what I'm going to do is glue them such that the bows are opposite of each other. And then when I uh, glue them flat, it should cancel out. Make sure to get everything lined up good. And I'll just stick a book on top of each stack. And I'll let that dry for about an hour. Okay, my bulkheads are dry, so what I'm going to do is take this and butt it up against this lower sheet here, align the edges, and make sure that it's vertical. The way I'm going to do that is with my little triangle here, and I'm going to then adjust the books at each spot here to make sure that it's perfectly vertical. And the books are back here to give me something to kind of push against. And I'm also going to run a bead down here and try to get it into these corrugations. So to make sure the bottom of my bulkhead stays up against this other uh, floor piece, I'm just taking a piece of cardboard, scooting it up there, and putting a weight on it to keep it from sliding back this way. Make sure this is still vertical, yes. Then to keep the top half vertical, I'm going to take a book and tilt it up against the whole stack. So now that my two end bulkheads are dry, I'm going to go ahead and glue on each side panel. And I'll hold it in place just like I did the bulkheads. Well, you can see here that overnight all my glue set up. I've got some really nice walls here and some fairly strong bulkheads. So now I'm going to take all my books out and start the next section. What I've got here is a three layered cockpit section. You can see the outer keel six inches shorter than the inner. This piece here uh, gives me enough rigidity to be able to sit in there without any trouble. This whole thing doesn't weigh very much. Let's see what it does weigh. One pound, 15 and a half ounces. So we'll call it two pounds. <laughs> 